Hi everyone, I heard that John Hughes died and someone on SFGate was referring to 16 Candles and that's not the movie that I think of when I think of John Hughes. I think of Ferris Bueller's Day Off because it was a brash coming of age story about Chicago to me. Uh, as much as Matthew Broderick played Ferris Bueller, well he really was Ferris Bueller, it was a story of every young, every young man's fantasy to have a hot red car, his hot girlfriend, his best friend driving through Chicago at breakneck speeds and going anywhere he wants to go and having absolutely no responsibility for the car because he didn't own it. But Ferris Bueller was also the introduction of sayings like, uh, who are you, Abe Froman, the Sausage King? Or, um, he Kennedy, Kennedy, he Kennedy, it's swing batter, which actually sounds like Kennedy, 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 Kennedy. Uh, I can't even say it right. Uh, it was also the coming of age of Charlie Sheen because he played that James Dean-like character that hit on Jennifer Beale in the police station. There's so much to that movie that is unforgettable that no matter how many roles Matthew Broderick plays, I always think of him as Ferris Bueller. So to me, he always looks like he's 18 years old. But John Hughes had a knack for capturing that stuff that makes American culture putting it together in a movie and giving it to us and saying, hey, here's a slice of life I think you'll enjoy. And in the case of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, he not only did that, but he created a moving, loving travelogue of my hometown, Chicago. John Hughes will be missed, 59 years old, very sad.